In the last lecture, we learned about what is a value type and reference type. Now in this lecture, let's understand value type and reference type in practice with some code. In this lecture, I will also show you some scenarios where knowing the concept of value type and reference type can help you in avoiding bugs in your program. So let's get started. Let's start by doing the equality check of value types. So let's create a variable x, assign it with the value maybe 30. Let's create another variable y, let's also assign it with the value 30. And now let's do the equality check of x with y. So let's say console.log x equals equals y. Now both x and y are storing same value. So that means this is going to return true. This comparison is going to return true, right? If I save the changes, true is logged here. So nothing new here. Now let's do the equality check for reference type. So let's start by creating a variable. Let's call it obj1. And to this, let's assign an object. And let's say this object is going to have an age property and let's set it to 25. Okay, so we are going to have only one property for this object. Let's create another object obj2. And to this also, let's assign an object. And this is also going to have this age property and let's also set it to 25. So here you can see to both this obj1 and obj2 we have assigned an object. And if you notice these two objects are identical. Now what do you think will happen if we try to compare this obj1 with obj2? Let's see that. Let's say console.log obj1 equals obj2. Now what do you think this equality check will return. If I save the changes, here you can see it has returned false. But if you see these two objects, which we have assigned to obj1 and obj2, they are identical. But still, when we are doing the comparison here, it is returning false. Why is that? That's because when we are creating this object, this object will get created in the heap memory and it will be stored there. And this obj1 will store the memory address of that object. So let's say this object got created at the address 0x12345. Okay, so this obj1 will store this reference. Now when we are creating this object, it will also get stored somewhere in the heap memory. So let's say it gets stored at some random, you know, uh, memory address like this. So here you can see this obj1 is storing this reference and the obj2 is storing this reference. So the reference stored in obj1 here is different from the reference stored in obj2. And that's why this equality check here is returning false because these two variables are storing different memory address, different reference. Okay. And one more thing to remember here is that even though these two objects are identical, still, since we are creating new object here, they will be stored in different memory address. Okay. Now let's do one more thing. Let's create another variable. Let's call it obj3. And to this, let's assign obj2. Now, this obj2 is stored at this memory address. And when we are assigning it to obj3, this memory address or this reference will get copied from obj2 to obj3. That means this obj3 will also store this memory address. Okay, so both obj3 and obj2 are storing same reference. So if we do the equality check for obj2 and obj3 uh, like this, in this case it will return true. So if I save the changes, you can see it has returned true. Why? because both obj3 and obj2 are storing same reference. Okay. Now we have also learned that an array is also an object in JavaScript. Right. So let's start by creating an array. Let's call it maybe ARR1 and let's assign it an array and let's say it has three elements. So 20, 10, uh, 30. Okay. Now, what we want is, we want to copy this ARR1 in another variable and let's say we want to update that 
copy of this array so let's say let's create another variable let's call it arr2 and to this let's assign arr1 okay now let's say we want to do some update in this arr2 and it should not affect arr1 because that's why we have created this copy okay just to do some update in this array now let's say to this arr2 we add two more elements so let's say 23 and 45 and let's log this arr2 so arr2 let's save the changes and you can see these two elements have been added to arr2 okay so far so good now let's also log arr1 so console.log arr1 now what do you think this arr1 will contain well let's save the changes and you can see that this arr1 for this arr1 also these two elements have been added we added these two elements this 23 and 45 to arr2 but it also got added to arr1 right why that's again because this array is a reference type in javascript so let's say we are storing this array in the heap memory let's say at this memory address so 0x32423 now when we are copying this arr1 to arr2 since this array is a reference type this memory address will get copied from arr1 to arr2 that means both arr1 and arr2 are referencing to the same array okay and when we are doing update for one array it is also reflecting in the original array because both of them are pointing to the same array so when we updated arr2 that update also got reflected in arr1 that's why when we are logging arr1 this 23 and 25 is also added to that array now let's say after assigning this arr1 to arr2 i to this arr1 i assign an empty array now what do you think will happen in this case will this arr2 also become empty let's see that so arr2 okay let's save the changes and let's see what happens so here you can see when we are logging arr2 these five elements has been i mean this array has been logged for arr2 but for arr1 empty array has been logged so now arr2 is different from arr1 why is that that's because when we assigned arr1 to arr2 this memory address got copied from arr1 to arr2 then to this arr1 array we are assigning a new array and when we are assigning a new array that means this array will get created at a new memory address and that memory address will get assigned to this arr1 so let's say this arr i mean this array gets created or stored at uh, some random memory address like this so now this arr1 is storing this reference okay and arr2 is storing this reference so these two reference are now different that's why when we are making change in arr2 you know this array is getting modified but that is not reflecting in arr1 because now this arr1 is not pointing to this array it is now pointing to a new array okay so what i want to show here is that if you know how the value type and reference type works then you can avoid these kind of mistakes okay getting my point let's suppose you don't know how a value type and reference type works in that case when you see a code like this where we are trying to compare this obj1 with obj2 and both obj1 and obj2 are staring, uh, storing identical objects and if it returns false then you you might get confused right because you don't know how the reference type works similarly here when we are assigning this arr1 to arr2 and when we are modifying arr2 you can see that arr1 also got modified so if you are a beginner or if you don't know how value type and reference type works you will get confused and for sure you will make these kind of mistakes if you don't know how a value type and reference type works right but 
now since you know what is a value type and what is a reference type and how they behave you can now avoid these kind of mistakes in your javascript program okay now before i wrap up this lecture let's also see one more example let's create this age variable here and let's set it to 25 all right and then here we have created this obj1 which has this age property now let's try to compare the age variable which we have created in the global scope with this age property of this obj1 so let's say age equals obj1 dot age now what do you think the result will be in this case let's see that let's save the changes and here it has returned true now you can say that why this time it is returning true that's because this age is a value type because to this age we are assigning this number 25 and 25 is a primitive value and we have learned that a primitive value is value type so that means this age variable will store this value 25 and this age property of this obj1 this will also you know this is also a value type why because to this age property we are assigning this number 25 okay this complete object is a reference type but the property of this object is value type because to this property we are assigning this value 25 okay so this age property contains the value 25 and this age variable contains the value 25 so here value is what is being compared for equality and since both of them has same value that's why it has returned true okay so this is all from this lecture if you have any question related to value type and reference type then feel free to ask it thank you for listening have a great day